we haven't let's, really talked about the characters yet. So let's talk about the Which is what right? I want to get into, because I want to talk yes. about Donnie Yen for a second, because you right. said you yeah. don't like him, and that makes me upset yes. a little bit, okay. mm -hmm. because I'll be real with you, I also did not like him at the start. <gasps> I... What? <sighs> so, Donnie Yen mm -hmm. is incredible. Yeah. Uh, it Man is wicked, and... It's kind of made me want to go back and rewatch that series, uh, along mm -hmm. with the John Wick series. Maybe I should just go on an action binge Netflix. That'd, <laughs> that'd be wicked. Um, yeah. But it's not the first time I've seen Donnie Yen play a blind martial artist. Mm -hmm. Rogue One. There he is. Blind yeah. martial artist. But he had the force that time. He had mm -hmm. a reason that he could be able to do that kind of reflexes. Even though I said that this is an over-the-top world, that was one of the most hard to believe moments, mm. but it it took a little bit because obviously he's blind, right? He's yeah. blind. How the fuck is he going to take out some of these some of these people? Yeah, and you don't learn how he goes blind for a little bit. So the entire time, I'm thinking he's been blind since birth. He's mm. had this since birth. So I'm thinking. Okay, maybe he's trained, but why would these group of people, because obviously early on you learn that uh, John Wick, uh, Donnie Yen Kane, and uh, Sananada's character, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, the Marquis? Uh, no, not, no, that's Bill Skarsgård. Uh, uh, who, who did you Hiroku know? Sananada. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shimatsu. Shimatsu. Shimatsu? Yeah. Shimatsu. Those three were like best friends. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, why would those two trust a blind guy and train him or something like that? So I was going along those lines. But mm -hmm. obviously you learn later on that he actually sacrificed his eyes to get out. Similar to yeah. John Wick, he got out. Mm -hmm. And that made me realize that he wasn't blind, so he was trained. And it made me more impressed because he is essentially just using his reflexes of what they would do. Mm. Then you get that action scene in Osaka where he's putting those devices that make chimes. He's yeah. adapted, he's learnt. And I was like, okay, maybe this is a bit more believable. And it started to realize that when you have that final up battle, up, up the staircase scene Stairs, yeah. with John and him that John is calling out people. Hey, yeah. at your six or like he says stairs at your six, or do you want to mm. take nine or 12? Well, he just says nine or 12 and he says nine, I think. So he does nine o'clock. He shoots nine o'clock mm. or how he kind of now as a blind person shoots in a general direction and hopes that he hits something, but then he goes on with his blade. So yeah. Slowly but surely, I started falling in love with the idea of this character. And I, and I thought that it was going to be too over the top, but mm -hmm. I became more and more attached. And I thought, this is a way cooler character that he doesn't want to be back in. Similar to yeah. John, he doesn't want to be in this situation, mm -hmm. but he has to do it for a similar thing. To yeah. honor the memory of his daughter or the, you know, to protect his daughter. Mm. Uh, the best line of the film is at the end, you know, when the marquee says, think of your daughter and he just goes, fuck off. Right. That like, I think that was the funniest moment of the film. Like he, yeah. he is a, he doesn't want to be fighting for these people, but he needs to in this situation. Mm. And I started to respect the character more and more. And I think that it's going to obviously become a spinoff character in this John Wick universe. Uh, with the I, I end credit scene we have at the end. Well, it's the end credit scene where Akira is going after him. Yeah. Like, that's the, I mean, that's the, I guess, the spin off. Yeah. Other than Ballerina. It, it was kind of implied, I, I guess, that he gets killed, but I didn't think he, get, I, I don't think he gets killed. That there's like a whole action scene that would unfold from there. Uh, yeah. I feel like, I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, um, I'm I'm cutting some slack to Donnie Yen. I didn't mean to say like I, I liked him the least. I think that spot is reserved for 
Akira, if I'm being honest. I, I didn't like that storyline. Oh, okay. Because uh, um, Donnie Yen goes up against the, these foes. He ends up killing Akira's father, right? His, his friend. And then he moves on to another character that he has to fight. And I feel like there he gets... I agree with you. At the start, um, I didn't really enjoy him as much. And then uh, I guess pretty early on when he has to... That whole back and forth of like... Well, I, I don't really want to kill you, but like honor and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it, to me, that was like, I don't know. I, I, I get why it's happening, but I feel like it's it's so annoy <laughs> annoying to see. And then the fight between him and John Wick was uh, better in a sense because both of them don't really want to kill each other. And um, the back and forth that is somewhat comedic, like, are you dead yet or whatever, uh, isn't as comedic in, because they, they really don't want to do it. Uh, so then it, it, it becomes more believable that like John is also holding back in a sense. He doesn't want to kill him or maybe get away with like playing dead or, or whatever. And it just, just doesn't work out. Uh, and uh, by the end of it, the, the stair fight, I think to me is also the highlight uh, of the, the whole fil film. It's also like really funny the way like people just come comedic like um, uh, our theater. I, I watched it at, at, a, at a preview press screening. And even the press people, which usually tend to be really silent when even in comedies, uh, were like laughing pretty hysterically at like that final thing where like people just keep tumbling down. It's, it's actually so funny. Uh, and, and he's great in that. Like the, them working together really works great. And I feel like it's also like harder for his character who's just like going off reflexes to differentiate between what, where's John Wick and where's his enemies. Mm. Um, so them calling it out, I think that was a great tag team. Um, and then... Yeah, him ending up there, uh, I would have liked to just see a happy ending for him, but I guess they said that early on that now um, Akira is is coming uh, after him. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I guess that's one way to continue um, the series in a sense. And then she kills him, and then the daughter maybe becomes an assassin, and then they fight against each other. It's like, no. Yeah, it's never ending, eh? It's, no. <laughs> 